Hello, welcome to Game Guru Tutorial. This one shows you how to use the Story Zone marker. And some people have had some difficulty getting it to work. So this is a little whistle stop tour of that feature. Step one is you go into the Markers tab and then you can scroll down to the bottom and you'll see Story Zone, which is a green icon. Drop it into the world. Whilst we're here, let's drop in a player start marker. This is where we're gonna start. Expand the zone a little bit with the little nodlets. And then once you've got a decent area, just maybe mark it with a different texture on the floor, just so you know generally where it is. And then click, and then click on properties. This is uh, clicking on the story zone marker itself. You'll actually see that you've got um, uh, a couple of properties, story zone, leave that alone. You see down here, visual. If you click inside this and then click on that button to the right, it takes you to, by default, the video bank folder. So any videos that you want to trigger, just drop it into this folder. And then you select video, it has to be WMV format. Click open, you'll notice that something's been entered here. That's the absolute path, but if you click apply changes and then go back and have a look at it, it changes it into its relative path, which is video bank slash and then the name of your file. So once that's done, ensure you do apply changes. You just have to do test game. So what's going to happen now is as soon as you enter the zone, enter the story zone, it will load and play that animation. The choice of video is entirely up to you. <laughs> Obviously you can have something a little bit more pertinent to your computer game than me messing about on a Segway <laughs> in Scotland. <laughs> So there you go, and then it comes back to the game, and then you can carry on your journey through your level. And you notice it doesn't trigger again, so it's a one-time only trigger. If you want to change the exact behavior of that, then you'd be interested in the script that it uses, storyinzone.lua. So you can open that in any text editor and change the behaviors of how that video is triggered. So I hope this was useful on showing you how to use the story zone marker. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.